referred to the committee, uh, paragraph 1.1 in the recommendations that the committee considered the petition received by the council in relation to the mobile program to make appropriate comments and or recommendations to the officer. Uh, I have a suggestion that uh, if, it, if it satisfies your thoughts, then I can. Yeah. <coughs> well, I have a suggestion if it helps. Uh, this committee asked the officer to note the petition and the concerns of the petitioners in regards to delivery of one ballot and the reservations of the committee and to convey these concerns and reservations back to the cabinet member. Is there anything you'd like to add on to that, Councillor Moore? I, I would actually, I'd like to move um, a, a, a substantially different version. Uh, and in doing that, I just want to be quite clear that this, particularly these two bundles of services, um, but one bundle in, in its entirety is potentially a huge commitment and, a, a, and will change the face of the council. Um, it presents a huge risk. There are all sorts of issues around democratic accountability. And around public sector and public service ethos. So what is the wording of your um, And 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 the, while the officer commented that it had been policy since 2008 under its previous name, the Future Shape Easy Council, it was not a manifesto commitment at the last election and has not been tested with local people. And therefore, I would <coughs> like to move a motion tonight to refer this petition to cabinet and call on them to pause, to stay their decision, and to carry out the referendum as requested to allow the people of Barnet to have their say on what is a fundamental change to the way their council delivers its well, services. Thank you. Thank you. Before legal dive in, we cannot refer it to cabinet to the cabinet member or indeed to cabinet, we can only request that the officer uh, refer things back to those bodies. Is that correct? Uh, Chair, if I may um, just add a point of clarification that is exactly what I was going to advise the committee that it is a case of making the comments to the officer because the officer is here who has been called to account. With 7,000 signatures, it goes to council, of course, and then it's a different matter. But at this level, we're very good. We're dealing with fewer signatures than that, and the officer's been called to account and has given an account, and therefore the committee may make comments back to the officer, who may in turn then um, refer the matter to the cabinet member. Chairman, paragraph 9.3, the final bullet points. This is your ruling. This is your ruling. Committee to determine if they wish to make formal representations to the relevant cabinet member. This is the meaning of the right. Right, Councillor Curran, can I just call that one? Uh, something which legal pointed out to me, which I was an error in the papers, and you picked up on quite correctly. It should say to the relevant cabinet member by the officer. Those words were missed out. May, may I then re rephrase mine with that? We refer it to the cabinet via the officer. <laughs> what do you want to refer? <laughs> I want to refer the question of a public referendum. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, in, in the terms that I used when I spoke. Councillor Sanger? Chairman, I'm all in favour of, of uh, asking the officer to bring to the attention of the relevant cabinet member, I think he's here listening, um, and, and I would add, and to the leader of the council, yeah. um, the issues and concerns that the committee raised in debating the item. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not prepared to support a referendum. There's no financial provision for it in, in the council's budget, nor I believe is there any support for it. Uh, across the council, and that was clearly, clearly, the decision, clearly, clearly the decision of the council when it was debated. We're elected to take those decisions. Uh, can, I, can I interrupt one moment? Uh, can we just uh, kill that one point? Um, I'm just going to ask a general question of the committee rather than a particular one. Uh, does this committee uh, wish this 
uh, the matter of the referendum to be referred back to the cabinet member or the cabinet. Um, now, that's what you're proposing. You've got a seconder for that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, can we take a vote on that? All in favour? And again. Equal. I'm the chairman. We turn it down. Oh. However, however, chair. Now, having dispensed with that, then we move on. Members of this committee do have concerns about the one budget. Yes. And that's been drawn out by the discussions that we've had here. And I think those concerns need to be reflected back to the, to the cabinet, well, actually to the cabinet, but we have to do it through the cabinet members uh, via the officers. So uh, uh, I, your I think very much my wording was, was to ask the officer to bring to the attention of the Roman Catholic. I would add, and the leader, the okay. issues and concerns that the committee have raised in debating this item. And would you like them to report back? Would yeah. you like the officer to report yeah. back to this meeting? And, and they can report back to the next meeting on the 20th of November. Uh, can we take a vote on that? All in favour? Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. Firstly, I'd like to thank um, Mrs. Madison for presenting the petition. <coughs> Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Travers for responding. I would like to um, thank all the members of the gallery for remaining quiet during the discussion. We could hear what was said. Uh, thank you very, very much indeed. Now, if you, if you are going to move out of the room, if you could do so quickly, so we can move on to the next items. Thank you. <laughs>